Hello and welcome to a very special edition of City Skylines. Now normally on a Wednesday I would do a challenge episode, but I couldn't find one, so let's not talk about that. <laughs> but what I did find is a city called The Line by Aquarius. I hope I pronounced your name right. The picture will be over here somewhere, or over here, not sure where. But it's a very interesting concept. You have two highways, one for normal traffic and one for heavy traffic. And off of the highway, you build little pods of communities. Now, his one, um, I, I know I've done it wrong. <laughs> Let's just start with that concept and move on. And but his his one looks really cool. You've got industry and uh, everything you need in each pod is everything you need for that community to function. And also along the highway, you can put more communities. And that's the general idea of it. You each community supports itself, but there is transport between the communities for people to go visiting and stuff like that. Anyway, come and have a look at my version and let me know what you think in the comments. And also join me on one of my other platforms over here and in the comments. Okay, so let me give you the tour. Here we have our two highways. We have a big highway here for our trucks and stuff. And underneath it, we have a, it's just a two lane each way highway and a railway. Yay! So over here will be our industry section. As you can see, this is all farmland. This is a purposely made map specifically for this. And if we go down the highway, we have an exit off of our bottom highway for this area, which will be our residential and shopping area. So what we're going to do is, uh, I will fill you in that I did actually try this once before, built it more or less like this, and I didn't have the train. Well, I did have the train, but it was over here, like this. And this one I put in specifically for uh, cargo. <laughs> I forgot what it was called for a second there. But before, I had just that one line, and I had to run it all the way up and then stick a station in, because otherwise, no one, come, no one moves in. Ever. <laughs> you, your city grows in, all your buildings grow in, and everything. I might show you that first uh, okay let's uh, we'll stick the train station in just so we don't forget to do that like so okay but we won't connect it up just yet okay but I will show you that even without that connected up the house is all growing okay I'll also show you that I have already put in the underground water pipes. I haven't put in the water pump. So let's put that in. Like so. And obviously we haven't put any industry area in as yet. This road over here, this one, is for like uh, sewage, bin trucks, that kind of fun stuff, so that can all get in the area. All of these roads have the same ban on them. They all ban uh, cars, buses, lorries. So our emergency vehicles and also the rubbish trucks can still get in and out. If I just show you, there you go. Okay, so taxis. Uh, refuse and emergency vehicles that's all that is allowed on these roads okay uh, this is our entrance I made it a little bit pretty and this is our entrance to our industry area which I also made a little bit pretty 
this road here also does not allow trucks and stuff so any trucks leaving the industry area will not be able to use that road to enter the city so the city will be pedestrian only so what we're going to do is we're going to fill this up with stuff and then we'll watch it grow in and you'll see that it's probably going to call me a liar this time but you'll see that there will be zero population. I think the maximum I got, sorry, it wasn't zero. The maximum I got was two. <laughs> so, yeah. Right, as you can see, everything is unlocked. We had to do that in order to gain access to these roads and obviously a train. Because if we hadn't done that, we would have zero train. Right, put these along here because no one wants to live next to that. Right, we've got to be careful with the shops because um, we put too many of them in. It tends to get a bit icky. People, uh, the shops tend to go out of business and stuff like that. Okay, so we're also over this side. We're going to have some offices. Okay. We're going to put these near the entrance. and then we need to put in things like parks and schools and all that fun stuff so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run around put in parks police fire all that fun stuff and then we'll go and build an industrial area uh, it's not going to be uh, super industrial because uh, we want to try and keep it as clean as possible because we have farmland so let's fill this puppy in with uh, parks and things. This is our basic layout. I haven't filled it all in with uh, residential just yet. Well, and we also want to take that bit out. Because we don't want that filling in yet. Because we need room, obviously, for shops and stuff like that. And maybe some more offices. So that's our basic layout for that area. Now, if I was to start this up now on full speed, you would see that all this would grow in all the houses would grow in however the population would not change from zero well it wouldn't change a lot it'd probably call me a liar if i started it up but we'll what we're going to do is we'll go over here and we'll build ourselves a nice big farm thingy with bob and go from there
enormous farm. So once this is up and running, obviously it will make money. Yeah, we hope. <laughs> um, we are actually going to put some normal industry over here. We'll come off of this side at a roundabout and maybe plop it over here somewhere. So it's away from that and away from all this over here. But let's see if this grows in. So buildings moved in and a few of them went poof. Now for some reason oh <laughs> I'm such a wally. No one's got any power, which is why the buildings were going poof and why the moving in part was so slow. Let's chuck one of those in. And why are they having oh because there's no electricity, there's no water. Yes, of course. Right, let's do that. And the water should now solve itself. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> so, as you can see, although we have many, many buildings, many, many, many buildings, and apparently lots of noise, <laughs> we don't actually have any residents. So, oh, yes, we didn't put any water over here, did we? What a complete wally. Let's pop that in. Okay, so now they have water, <laughs> but of course they have no workers. However, it seems to be buzzing, even though it has no workers. Oh, it has no sewage, of course. Silly me. I'm so thing on, uh, so interested in how this, you know, getting this to actually to show you how this works that it. I'm forgetting all the basic amenities. I don't know what you're talking about. Are you trying to justify to me the fact that you're an idiot? Many buildings. And no residents. And these buildings will completely fill in. And they will stay there. Even though we have zero residents. Of course the town will continue to cost us an arm and a leg. But if we hook this puppy up. But before we do that. <laughs> Let us give our residents a way to get around. So what we're going to do is... No, not Cape Cod. The monorail. The monorail is good. Let's stop one there.
much you can see, even with a mass transit system in, though I paused it about <laughs> towards the end there when I was putting it in, um, but even with a mass transit system in, zero. Because apparently they will not drive along here and then get out and walk. However, if we do that, then we will get people moving in once I kick it into gear again. Now the mass transit system is obviously useful for them to get over here. Obviously this area for some reason is already buzzing, although it has no people to work here. And this area also has a problem with crime, so let's actually chuck a cop shop and fire brigade over here just to keep things ticking and we shall now see how this works with a train station And here we go. So, how people get out of a train and are willing to walk everywhere. They go into the Birch residence, which is all the way over here. Okay, so yeah, they are willing to walk. Um, they don't actually have to walk, obviously, because they can jump on the monorail to get more or less where they're going. Let's give him a follow, see what he does. Oh, he's walking. Alrighty, so <laughs> as you can see, our residents, our population is now at nearly 6,000. And that's just with this pod. Um, apparently we do need some more shops. Although we don't actually have any normal industry yet to supply those shops. And he decided to sit on a bench. Okay. <laughs> you have fun in your new home. And, wow. People everywhere, look. Uh, excuse me, hello. Did I miss that piece of road? Uh, no, I didn't. So why did he get his car out? They do occasionally get their cars out. I did notice that when I was testing this idea. <laughs> However, 99.9% .9 of the time, as you can see, no cars. Not one. Well, apart from police cars, obviously. And there will be bin trucks as well at some point. They're probably running around somewhere. Oh, there they are. So... This is a very good good way of building a city. As long as you have access to this road, which comes in at, uh, I think you have to be at 6,000 population, which we've already exceeded. And the railway station. I can't remember what level that comes in at, but I know you have to get quite high before that comes in. Um, obviously we have got a few abandoned buildings. I don't know what that was. Oh, right, that was a shop. Uh, why haven't you vanished? There you go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, according to this, we need shops, but we don't, really. Because uh, what we need is industry. So what we're going to do is put in some normal generic industry over here on this darker piece of land here. Actually, we might put it here, so it's near the roundabout. So let's do that, and then we can uh, see how this builds in once they've got an industry.
Okay, so we have that area now, and we can just plop in some industry. Random industry, it doesn't matter what grows in there. But, uh, oh, I know what we need. We need footpaths go from here to there. That's what we need. Because, obviously, our people will be having quite a long walk to get here. So let's, uh, diddly diddly diddly, footpaths, that one. <laughs> let's go from here, and go over to here, because there's a crossing. Um, can we come off of the park? We can, nice. There we go, look at that. We will take a walk through the park and get there. <laughs> Okay, let's go. Oh, that one's in there. And from this one as well, because. And what we can do there is. Is that him? No, that's the pedestrian bridge building. Oh, yes, we need to be in that section. No. Oof, there we go. One crossing. Uh, da, 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 a bit further down as well, because I have a feeling that this industry sector will be growing over time. And put in another crossing. Uh, uh, no controller. No. Okay. <laughs> Let's try that again. There we go. Okay, so that's near that one. That's good. All right, now what we also need to do is connect these by footpath to these. Our farming area may expand at some point, but we need to be able to walk from here to here. So what we're going to do is we're going to run a footpath all the way up like this. And across there. Go. Okay, use a move it mod to shiftify that in a bit. Oh dear, another phrase I've stolen from Biffa. <laughs> move it in. There we go. Just so they connect properly. There we go. Okay, that one's connected, that one's connected. Yep, they're all good. And then we need to come from over here. Right about there should do the trick. Connect to there. And from here to here. Because we've got a crossing. Not that we need one, because they get off on this side of the road. And uh, where's the other one of those? It's all the way down there. Okay. Uh, no, that's... Yeah, alright, yeah, we can do that. Can we get under there? Not unless we add a key in, no. <laughs> uh, to there, there we go. Turn that key back off, otherwise I'll end up placing something on top of something else. And as you can see, our city is growing in a treat. And our shops are growing in a treat. However, they are complaining, which is why I said I'm not going to put loads and loads of them in. Not enough educated workers. However, that will all sort itself out over time. Uh, education. Oh, crikey, we need more already. Alrighty. Let's do that then. Slap a few more mini schools in. I keep forgetting with the high density, you need a lot more of everything. Good. Is that good again? There we go. I'm gonna one down there. All oh, right. Cool. Okay. Uh. Oh, those are okay. But we'll give them a couple anyway, just to keep them ticking over. And the university is well empty. <laughs> but of course it is. Okay. Fold that down. A rubbish is doing well. Our three units are actually 
keeping our city clear. The thing with this particular road, oh, well, maybe not. <laughs> the thing with this particular road is the top speed of any vehicle on it is 10 miles an hour. It looks fast at the moment, but oh no, not that one. That one. If I put it at normal speed, you can see they're crawling along. And obviously, lots of pedestrians in the way because this is a pedestrian area. So, apparently we need more shops. <laughs> okay, so let's have a look. We have some industry on the go now. And it's chocker. It's absolutely full up. Wow. Okay. Yeah. And people can walk to and from it using the cut throughs. So this is good stuff. And they can come through the park and get there as well. So yeah, a nice daily walk to work through the park. <laughs> and off they go. Into the industry sector. Now the industry sector, obviously, you have to allow vehicles. Because they need these buggers. <laughs> Without the lorries, the industry just kind of comes to a grinding halt and shuts down. However, how's it? Oh, we haven't actually set that roundabout up properly yet. So busy gassing. <laughs> so that is actually functioning really well. I mean, we are at nearly a, well, 17,500 people. The only thing that can go faster than 10 miles an hour is the emergency vehicles, which we need over, well, we did need over here, but apparently they got there and put it out. So that's good. Right, uh, the monorail. I mean, that station alone has had 152 passengers. Or is that the entire thing? I think that's just that station. Let's see how that's doing money-wise. Because they generally don't make money, and they're still not making money. No, that's the train. Uh, where's the monorail? Okay, where's the monorail? The monorail's not... Oh, it's over here. Duh. <laughs> So it's costing 4.2 thousand and it's only earning just over a thousand. Obviously the train is bringing in bucket loads of people. Absolutely bucket loads. Each train that comes in is like chocker block. I mean that's 178 in the last week alone. <laughs> And of course, if people want to use their cars, they can walk over here, jump in their car, and go on the highway. However, that highway doesn't really get them anywhere other than out of the city, because they cannot access this using that highway. So their cars are pointless to them. I'd like to thank you for watching. And um, feel free to join me on one of my other platforms and come back tomorrow for an empty highway. No, come back tomorrow <laughs> for more Catastrophique. Our city is doing well with Catastrophique. And I'll see you next week for more of Spinal Tap. Hey there, thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed the content, please hit the subscribe button. Also, if you want to visit me on Twitch, I stream live three times a week. I'm on Reddit, Twitter and Discord. Please drop by and have a chat at any time. All the links are in the description below. I'll see you next time.